Hey all, so I just want to empower all of you to be able to use the AI intent nodes that I created more effectively. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a different video um, and focus just a bit on the debugging aspect. So what happens when you get errors or what should you typically see, stuff of that nature. I'm going to keep this pretty quick, um, but just kind of give you an insider developer look as to like what to expect. Here I just have a simple um, flow. What it's doing is it's gathering all the battery states and then it's just gonna give me all of the batteries that are less than 10%. Currently all the batteries in the house are above 10%, so it's not really gonna give me any good answers, but um, just so you can have context as to what it's, this is doing and what you can expect to see. Okay, so um, I'm gonna run this and the first thing I wanna uh, point out to you guys is that in here we have uh, an error. Now let's, we can see here, when you look at this, you can see here that it says debug 144. That's this. If there's an error or some kind of catastrophic error that happens, uh, as long as you have this catch all, um, you can just search for it, it's gonna be catch. Um, it will output to here or to wherever you have it sent to. This is a good way to kind of catch if something that you don't expect happens. And in here you can kind of see what's going on and it's saying that the incorrect API has been provided. Um, now I've seen this once before and that happened when this is filled out incorrectly. So this is referencing an incorrect API key. I have mine's, it's gonna use the one that you have here or specified here by default if you use it the way that i'm using it and that is updating the settings.js um, you can just leave it here by default and what it's going to do is it's just going to use the ones in the setting as a fallback as long as you have this filled out it's going to try to use the one that you specified here in the config um, so by doing this now we can click done and i should have been able to solve my first problem after we deploy and running this debug node 137 you can see that this is being highlighted and that means we kind of ran successfully there was no errors and we can see the payload response here good night all devices are currently above the threshold now something that i also want to point out is that it's almost time for bed you have 30 minutes left Hmm. Oh, if you notice here, one of my automations have ran, basically telling me it's almost time for bed. <laughs> there is this underscore debug object that I have here. Um, this is purely for your knowledge. If you feel like the calls being made to GPT are incorrect, or you want to just ensure or see what is being sent, you can click here. Um, basically what's being sent is the tools array. Um, this has all of the functions that you've defined to send to GPT. Um, in my case, I have this empty or dirty, so something for the dishwasher. And this one is for an answering machine automation that I have. And then let's see, it also shows the model that we're using. It shows that the tool choice is set to auto. Um, this message array basically holds both the system and the user uh, object so that's here the system and the user object and if you open it you can see that this is the system role and this is all the information that i sent it and then here is the user node and this is the information that i sent it and then of course the other settings that we see here and these settings mirror the ones that you see inside here as well so temperature 3.7 max tokens that much so on and so forth but this can help you at least check out to see what you're sending and making sure that it's correct. I hope this was helpful and if you have any questions feel free to just put in the comments and let me know and reach out. All right.